All right, recording has started. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jenna, you're you're the one really good. Oh, I I said this event you gotta come out of the cave. Yeah, there you go. So as we get started, oh Mitch, I just want you to just talk a little bit and so we can make sure they can hear you. So test whatever. Test. Testies, testies. <laughs> oh, I was listening to Daniel's son. <laughs> can somebody tell us if you can hear Mick? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear Mick. I'm all speaking. Danny, you have your um, speaker off. No, this is up. He's afraid to talk. She's just talking. I'm not afraid. She might be new. Yeah. Yeah. The view is Please terrible, know. though. All right. She is muted. Okay. Um, say something else, Mick. Something else, Mick. Great. <laughs> hey, Queen, can you hear him? Mick? Uh -oh. Yeah. I picked up you. Oh, no. That's fine. Joel, yeah. I asked Joel. Joel, can you hear Mick? He said, yep. Yeah. Okay. Working? Yeah. Good. We're all set. Everybody is not. <laughs> They're not. No, no, they're not. Yeah. Alright, I want to thank everybody for being here this morning. We have a few quick announcements that are fairly exciting and uh, we wanted to let everybody know. Um, first off, um, we were selected for the sixth consecutive year as the top workplace in Dane County. And it, it is an honor to get that award every year because that award is based on the input and the feedback from all of the employees uh, from Verizon Construction that work in the Dane County area. So that honor comes from the fact that you guys appreciate working here, like what you're doing, enjoy this company and provide the feedback needed to get that award. So we want to as shareholders thank you guys for all of that because it means a lot to us. And I think it means a lot to you too. And it means a lot outside the company to keep that label attached to this company. So for six years in a row, uh, we have won that award. And Meg, just to clarify, it's construction management and development. And it's all three companies. <laughs> so it, it is truly the entire company. So we thank you for that response and appreciate it and are proud to be a top workplace in Dane County. Um, secondly, um, two years ago, we decided as a strategic initiative to try to make uh, the management company a WBE entity or woman owned business. Um, as some of you may or may not know, especially those of you that work in development, the the WBE tag on our company offers us more opportunities in the management world and the development world when it comes to our tax credit housing, oh uh, management contracts, and other things we do. Um, so Dana and Becky have been working now well over a year to get this status, uh, went through the application process, um, and in the last month, two months, we have received the final two weeks, two weeks in the last two weeks, we have received now officially the WBE certification. So now HMS is a WBE certified entity. Nice. Um, she took a lot of work, so I appreciate it, Becky and Dana, and thank you. And 
we look forward to this giving us more opportunities for compliance contracts, management contracts, and then it also potentially could help in our scoring on our development deals that we submit in the tax credit world. So proud of that. Thank you guys for all the hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thirdly, and it's still down the road a ways, um, but I want to remind everybody about our golf outing that's coming up in August. Uh, Melissa has everything teed up and ready to go, and she's been working hard on it. Thanks. Thank We are currently at $47,000 of our $100,000 goal. That's awesome. Very important this year that we hit $100,000. Well, as we did last year, which was a little bit surprising, but not necessarily as hard as everybody worked. I want to hit $100,000. All the shareholders want to hit that goal. So we're just under halfway there, and we are four months away, roughly. So if any of you have sponsorship connections, if you have silent auction, raffle donations you can provide, please contact Melissa. Um, and get any of that information to her. And I believe you're going to be sending out an email shortly uh, that summarizes the event and also talks about volunteers for this year for the yeah. event. So if you've been with the waiting that, that should be coming up shortly here. Um, fourthly is our award process. So every year, typically in the first quarter, we do the Horizon Awards or at our Christmas party. Because of the 40th celebration this year, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Um, each one of the awards are going to be in a more intimate setting based on whether it's through the management company or, or, or the, who the employee works for, the management company, construction company. So these awards will be announced either during summer events for the regions for HMS, uh, at the field suit meeting for construction, and at the corporate office. So you'll see some of these scattered about as we go out through the year in anticipation of the 40th anniversary party, which is coming up on October 5th. So if you don't have it marked on your calendar, we're going to be at the Baird Center in Milwaukee on October 5th. Um, I think Dana's been sending out information regularly here, so I think everybody has it on their calendar. If you have any questions, ask Dana. Um, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty exciting event. Um, and there will be some live entertainment here that I will mention at this well, point in time. Keep a secret for now. Uh, in the development and construction world, um, we're still moving on the way things have been going. Um, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Give an application due today. Right, yeah. <laughs> Development team is submitting applications for Iowa today. We have um, two applications submitted for Wisconsin already that went in at the end of January. And we got some good news and bad news in Michigan from what we submitted last year. And I think most of you saw an email about it. If you didn't, we submitted in Michigan last year for the first time ever. Um, we missed receiving an award by one point. The cutoff was 110, we scored 109. But there are a lot of good things we learned from the exercise to make it smarter to know moving into the next round, a few tweaks we could make. But there were 72 applications and 20, 22 awards. So it's an extremely competitive process over there. There are a lot of uh, applications that went in. He missed by one point. So I want to congratulate the development team because the first time in a market is always your most difficult time. And they were, as usual, right at the ball. So. And then finally, and I have no idea how this happened, um, <laughs> I am supposed to announce the winner of the March Madness track. <laughs> Second place here. Meeting adjourned. Dana was. <laughs> like real quick. Sorry, we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> so the winner of the March Madness bracket was EJ Gear. Hey. Uh, 
how that happened, but he did buy lunch for everybody here one of these days. <laughs> That's really everything I have. Um, yeah. 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 I heard them multiple voices. Anything else? Thank you again, everybody. We're about to, when it wraps up, like one minute prior to it, just keep being here. Five seconds. Staying here, staying here.